Limousines, they're all about luxury and opulence, features, gadgets, the sorts of things that can make you feel a little bit special. But this one adds a bit more to the equation. Meet the Audi S8. Now it uses the big sprawling aluminium body of the A8, but combines it with a fiery engine. And that means it's no slouch. In fact, anything but. You tramp the accelerator, and it'll get to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.1 seconds. And that's seriously quick motoring for a big limousine like this. And it's all thanks to this, a four litre twin turbocharged V8 engine that dishes out 382 kilowatts. Now all of that grunt is fed through an eight speed automatic transmission and all four wheels. So it feels like it's glued to the bitumen. It's helped by enormous 21 inch continental tires. So throw it on the bend and it does sit down incredibly well. It's also really quiet and really smooth, which I guess you expect when you're paying about $300,000. The other thing Audi's done a great job on on this car is the combination of the ride and the handling. So it does hang on brilliantly. It feels like it's gonna be great and we really need to test it out as an autobahn where you can get into it at a bit of speed. It rides on air suspension and does a pretty good job of picking the bumps and sorting them out but at the same time it feels more than up to the sports sedan duties. One of my only gripes though is the engine sound. It's a little bit too muted. You've got this big hefty V8 working away pretty hard and yeah, you can hear a bit of a burble outside, but I want more of that raucous inside. In other ways though, I love the subtlety. Often there's a temptation with a high performance car to throw wings at it and make it look all leerish and garish, but this one's a little bit more subdued. The S8's also got some pretty tricky technology. All the sorts of gadgets and crash avoidance that you'd pretty much expect at this sort of level. So things like lane departure warning, blind spot warning, auto braking, uh, head up display, satellite navigation with Google Maps incorporated into it, uh, Wi-Fi for the car, you name it, it's pretty much on it. But it's also got one of the fanciest pairs of headlights in the business. There are 25 LEDs in each light and there are sensors looking at what's coming towards you. So basically you leave it on high beam all the time. It then blocks out the LEDs that won't blind the car or the person or whatever it is coming towards you. Now that's pretty clever stuff. So yes, the S8 can be pretty explosive out of the blocks, but it can also be deceptively brisk when you're just cruising around. You squeeze the accelerator and you've got 650 newton meters of torque piling on, bringing that sedan up to pace again and often the engine doesn't have to work that hard to give you what you need. But you pay for all of that. Think $279,000 plus on road costs and whatever options you want to throw at it. There are plenty. But you are getting a couple of pretty powerful personalities. One sporty and one luxurious. 